Hello, Rachel. Hi. Hi, good morning. This is editor Bill Hernandez with Entertainment Takeout and Rock Band Reviews here in Fort Lauderdale. How's it going this morning? Good. How are you? I'm good. Uh, just for the record, I didn't ask for a, a 9 a.m. interview <laughs> on a Saturday morning. <laughs> oh, okay. That was all no, 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 yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I was like working late in the studio last night and I must have slept through my alarm. Oh, no worries. It's, it's, it's all good. So, um, first of all, um, congratulations on your showing here at Art Basel in Miami. Thank you. And I'm also from L.A., so it's great to have some class on the other end of the line this morning. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so, your art installation will be shown for the first time during Art Basel Miami in the ballroom at the Fountain Blue Hotel from December 7th to the 10th, so you must be really, really excited. Yeah, I'm so excited. Um, it's such a nice location, and I, I love the gallery that I'm working with, and uh, I've been like waiting for this. I started working on this project in May, so I've been waiting for this for a while. Now, what is, this, um, what is especially important uh, What's especially important about your featured art is that the show is inspired by the red tide, which is a natural phenomenon that occurs when the ecosystem is out of balance in the ocean. Um, what, of course, occurs in the ocean is what we'll actually be seeing in your artwork, isn't it? Right. I mean, the, uh, the waves essentially become like a giant glow stick, and it's, it's actually really beautiful, and it's created in toxicity which is really interesting I first saw this when I was 10 and I thought it was like the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen um although it, it is something it, it only happens when there's like an issue in the water mm -hmm. so um I I use that color palette to create my art uh, so there's a lot of like blacks and dark greens from the algae and neons now, what I find that is that is really, really, really cool is that you will also be donating a percentage of your proceeds from your artwork to Oceanic, which is a foundation to keep plastics out of the water, which, of course, whether you're in L.A., Florida, or any other part of the world that borders the ocean, this is extremely, extremely important. Well, yeah, I mean, um, I like, grew up around water. I think it's just the most important cause like to me personally and um, we know so much about our planet but we know more about the stars than we do about our own ocean and it, we're destroying it and it's not a slow de decay it's like happening rapidly in front of our eyes so I, it's just something that's really important to me in that organization I worked with over the summer in Ibiza and I really like um, their approach to it, it's not, um, they like to involve the community, they have, like to have festivals, they like to like bring awareness in like a positive way, um, so it's not all doom and gloom. Yeah. Now, when did you first become interested in art? I guess my whole life. Um, I started sketching, uh, apparently, when I was about five. And ever since I can remember, I, I've been working with my hands and creating things. Now, during your uh, the creative process, uh, creating your artwork, what what is your muse? Um, well, I like to. I, I studied fashion design in school. I started studied fine art and fashion design, and they taught me with fashion design, you sort of figure out a theme for your work, and then you create a story around that theme, and you mood board and color palette. And then you take that theme and you carry it throughout your collection for each season. And I sort of took that process and applied it to my art. So I'll come up with a theme and I'll study it. And then I'll take all those colors and that mood and like an entire collection of paintings and do that. So like for this, for this series, it was inspired by Red Tides. But um, I've also done... I did a show in Norway, and it was inspired by Norwegian black metal, and so I used a lot of d dark colors, woods, wood stains, so that, that's kind of how I like to work. I'm inspired mostly by music. Um, my, I feel like my creative palette is t 
taken sort of from the fashion industry. Well, my next question, actually, because you mentioned music, was does music play a role in your creative process? I mean, while you're painting, do you do you crank music or anything to inspire you as well? Yeah, of, of course. I mean, I, I sometimes I'll be working in silence just because I'm just very zen, but mm -hmm. working with music helps to quiet my mind, helps me to focus, keeps me energized, depending on what mood I need to be in, if it's like the last leg of the hours in the studio, like listening to some house music can really get you through the end of it, or if you're just trying to like ease into the process and like listen to some calming music, listen to some body bear, music plays a huge role in what I do, because I don't work in an office where I right. can feed off of other people's energy, mm -hmm. I rely on music to help me carry me through my day. Now, for those who aren't, aren't familiar with art, what is the, the definition of an abstract expressionistic artist? Um, I mean, I guess the definite abstract work is, is just not realism, so I don't, it's not like I, I'm not using oils and um, directly duplicating what's in front of me. I'm doing something that is like free form mm -hmm. and doesn't necessarily represent a person, place, or thing. Okay. Is, is that the, like the best? That's like the best way I can describe it, really. Now, also, besides an artist, you're a world class model. And how did modeling first become a, a part of your life? It actually came really late for me. It came um, after I finished school, after I got my master's, which is, you know, like typically someone would start modeling and like when they're 15, when they're really young. But I had finished school. I had my first art show and I was approached by a photographer and they said they wanted to shoot me and sort of like use who I am and what I do as a storyline. And I thought it would be really interesting way to put my art out there and then it just sort of picked up from there. Now what was your reaction when you were named Miss November 2015 for Playboy magazine? Um, I mean I was really shocked. I, that was the first time I had ever modeled so you can imagine I was like very excited and nervous but mostly I was just like, very honored. I didn't see myself in that light and to be noted as someone that beautiful it just made me feel really I don't, I don't know it was like empowered I suppose you know because I was always really shy and quiet and mm -hmm. introverted and I didn't see myself in the public eye in that way and it really forced me to like step outside of my shell I mean I mean you have a you know things for you uh first are, are pretty good because here you are modeling and and and, and that's a first for you to become Miss November you know, first time modeling, and then of course I had read that in your first uh, art show, you actually sold every single one of your pieces, which which is huge, huge. Yeah, um, it was crazy, you know, I did it as sort of, it was just something, I really didn't expect anything, I, I, saw, I threw it myself, I didn't go through a gallery, I wasn't like noted as a superior painter. I, it was just something I did that because I wanted to and I didn't expect anything out of it. And to get that reaction from an audience like really propelled my career. It made give me the confidence to go out and be an independent artist. It was a really profound moment for me because I had expected to work for someone else the rest of my life. Yeah, and look at you now. I mean, you're 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 a serious force in the artistic world, and celebrities are collecting your art. I mean, what else could you ask for? I don't know. I mean, I'm really lucky. I get to do what I love every day. So, so what is next for you in your modeling career and artistic future? What's coming up? Um, I just. I want to keep the direction that I'm going in and just progress creatively um, within my technique and the materials I use. You know, I want to um, stay on the path that I'm I'm going, where I like leverage media and I put myself out there vulnerably for the public. 
using photography and um, I also want to develop my art and take it to somewhere where it hasn't been because of the work that I do I work with really interesting materials I work with construction materials and materials that haven't necessarily been used in the fine art world Mm -hmm. so I just want to develop that technique further and grow and develop as I get older Um, essentially I want to stay on the same path that I'm on Um, I just want to grow well we want to continue to see you in the future on your upward climb and uh, thank you so very much Rachel for talking with us today and uh, we look forward to seeing you this, uh, this week during Art Basel Yes, thank you. Um, I'm showing at the Fountain Blue, uh, as you said, um, from the 8th to the 10th, every day, all day, and I'll be there. So um, if anybody comes, has any questions, I'd love to meet you guys. All right, great. We love to come down and I'd uh, love to introduce myself and see your work in person. It's been a great, great pleasure, Rachel. And again, continued success in everything you do and touch. Okay, thank you. Thank you for having me. All right. Bye-bye. See you later. Bye. Bye.